Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at and justify one of the most important methods for demonstrating mathematical results, the principle of induction. Let's go. We'll start by playing with dominoes. Suppose we've arranged the dominoes as shown here. If we push over the first one, what happens? Of course, they'll fall over. But let's analyze why they've all fallen. The first one falls and knocks over the one next to it, which then tips over the next one, and so on down the line. Because of the way we've placed the dominoes, it's inevitable that if the first one falls, so will all the rest. Now we'll number the tiles from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. From the experiment, we know one, that the first piece falls, and two, that if a piece falls, then the next one also falls. Therefore, they all fall. Let's generalize this by referring to any tile numbered n. If tile n falls, then the next one, n plus one, falls. Now we're ready to introduce the induction principle. It's very similar to what we've been talking about. Suppose that instead of dominoes, we have a set of properties, one for each natural number, p1, p2, p3, p4, and so on. Imagine that as before, p1 falls, or in our case, p1 is true. If one falls, the next falls. In our case, if Pn is true, then Pn plus 1 is true. What does this mean? It means all the properties will fall. That is, Pn will be true for every natural number n. This is the principle of induction, and it's a very powerful tool for demonstrating certain mathematical results. We can invoke it to demonstrate a set of properties associated with natural numbers. All we need to do is show that the first is true, and that if the property is true for n, it's also true for n plus 1. The assumption that the property is true for n is called the induction hypothesis. Let's look at a basic example of proof by induction, proving an expression for the sum of the first n natural numbers. We'll show that the sum of the first n natural numbers, 1 plus 2 plus all the way up to n, is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. Carl Gauss found this formula in the late 18th century, when he was still a schoolboy. There are different ways of proving the formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers. It can be done using the formula for the sum of the terms of an arithmetic progression. But here, we'll demonstrate it by induction. The first thing to show is that the property is true for n equals 1. For n equals 1, on the left-hand side, we have the sum of the first n natural numbers, which is just 1. On the right-hand side, we substitute 1 for n, so that we have 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2, which is 1 times 2 over 2, which is just 1. This is the same as on the left-hand side, so the property is shown to be true for n equals 1. Using the induction hypothesis, we assume that the property is true for n. In other words, we assume that the sum of the first n natural numbers is n times n plus 1 over 2. Now, we need to show that the property is true for n plus 1. The sum of the first n plus 1 natural numbers is 1 plus 2 and so on up to n plus 1. So let's see if we add n plus 1 to the sum of the first n numbers, it's the same as substituting n plus 1 for n in the expression n times n plus 1 over 2. We'll start from the expression on the left, there it is and we'll group it into two parts, this and this. We already have an expression for the first part, which by the induction hypothesis is n times n plus 1 over 2. So we'll add n plus 1 to this, and divide it by 1, and then do a sum of fractions. The least common multiple of the denominators is 2. 
2 divided by 2 is 1, multiplied by n times n plus 1 is the same, and 2 divided by 1 is 2, which is multiplied by n plus 1. Putting everything over the common denominator of 2, there's a common factor of n plus 1, so that we have n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2. Good. That's what we wanted to show. We've shown that the result is true for n plus 1. So by induction, it's proved for all n. Proof by induction is a vitally important result which we're going to use in many future videos and I'm sure you'll also use it in your own work too. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Just a reminder to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again very soon.